Shalom, shalom. 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 First and foremost, before we start this lesson, we give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahushah Bashim, Kakadash. My name is Tazim Makamath. Shukwat Raka. Your brother Taziar Makasa. And we come from the camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and well. And today we're just going to go into Esau's torment will be on another level. And no, you will not get a break because when Esau is going to be in the kingdom, he's not going to get no rest, no mercy, because what we went through was pure hell. And we're still in the hell hell state condition as we speak. <clears throat> but soon enough, this uh, the spirit of the world is changing drastically to um, fit Yasharala. All right, so... We're going to go into it, and Lord Will's lesson is edifying. So start with his first um, scripture. All right, it's the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 19, and it says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. Right, avenge not yourselves. So when you read that, meaning don't go do it yourself. Don't go try to pay back and do, you know, all that extra shit. No, because at the end of the day, Esau is in, the, is in the top power seat. All right, so let's let's actually grab that. Yeah, like uh, Farrakhan, you know, you have uh, some Jays, you know, that take arms. That false prophet. Yeah, man. I you, fucking hate that nigga. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man, these people think, you know, they come in that militant state thinking that, you know, they can get retribution, you know, for uh, the things that Ashar had put us through. But then again, it's, it's you know, we going through these things because it's, you know, um, divine punishment but that precept that the brother just read is going to how vengeance is of Yahweh by Shema bro mm -hmm. so it's like you can't take it into your own hands because you weren't put in this situation you know uh you know willingly you know the Lord put you through this situation for uh a reason right so let's read this this is Job 9 and 24 it says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked so when Esau was born you know, and he grew up. Isaac had blessed Esau, you know, the fatness of the earth and the sword. So if you were going to avenge us, you if you were going to avenge the enemy, you will have to use his his blessing and you will ultimately end up losing, man. That's why we're not supposed to fight in the carnal matter, but a spiritual. That's that's why that precepts on Revelations uh, chapter 13 and verse nine. And we got down to verse 10. Yeah, we, we got that. We grab it real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let's grab it. Yeah, might as well grab it. Revelation 13, verse 9, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Mm -hmm. So who, who led us into captivity? Who took us from one land to another, mm -hmm. okay, as, you know, ran in Deuteronomy 28 and, uh, I believe, 68, it tells you, hey, we went, we led, we fled Egypt with, by ships, roughly paraphrasing, and we're the only people that was on them damn boats, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> wasn't no Arabs, wasn't no Asians, no, yeah, it, it was us, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, mm -hmm. okay, and Esau, he's the one that took us into captivity from one land, you know, and put us in America and got us in the fucking slave building up their their land. Okay? So it says he that leave into into captivity shall go into captivity. So it's you know, justice. It says he that killeth with the sword must, must be, be killed, killed with the sword. Mm -hmm. Alright, and it tells you that in Psalms one forty nine. Let me just grab it. Now nah, this bit rolling, boy. Yeah, it really is. I got a precept to back that up, bro. Let me let me grab this real quick. Go ahead, bro. This Psalms 149, and we can start at verse 7. And it says, To execute vengeance upon the heathen, Ooh. which is these other nations that are not Israel, mm -hmm. and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Man. Okay, when you Google, you know, Israel, yoke of iron, <laughs> you know, what you gonna what you gonna see? Negroes with Yokes of iron upon their neck and their chains, okay. 
But now this is a future prophecy where King David was writing the binder of kings was, the, you know, these top elites, you know, these uh, kings of the earth right right today. All right. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So they're going to be in slavery. Right. Mm -hmm. To execute upon them the judgment written. Dishonor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So when we go back to Revelation 13. We jump down to verse 10 again. It says he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Mm -hmm. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So this is the comfort that we have. Hearing, you know, Lord's words, hey, don't worry, my sons, hey, um, those that put you in this captivity, they're going to get paid back because you're going to put them in captivity, you know, under our, our leader, Yahweh Shai, right? Mm -hmm. You got that precept you want to bring up? Come on, this is uh, the book of John, chapter 18, and verse 10. It says, going to the count to where... Uh, you know, the Romans came to seize, you know, uh, and bring forth Yahweh Shai to his crucifixion. John 18 and 10, it says, Then Simon, Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Mal Malchus. Verse 11, Then said Yahweh Shai to Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath, the sheath, the cup which my father have given me, shall I not drink it? Question mark. Then the band, the captain officers of the Jews took Yahweh Shai and bound him and led him away, for he was father of Salakia. It was a, uh, it was other precept, but basically how Yahweh Shai went into uh, you know, he cut Peter up and he was telling him that um Oh, live by the sword, die by the yeah, sword. Yeah, live by the sword, you should die by the sword. You know, and that that just that's universal, bro. You know, because the sword was given into Ishar. You know what I'm saying? Ishar, basically. Yeah, it was going. It was given to Esau, man. So, you know, if you living by the sword, you know you're gonna die by it. And I got a uh, a different precept to back that up. If you can find that uh, that precept I was looking for. Right. But this is Galatians six and seven. It says, "Be not deceived." Yahweh is not mocked, for whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. You know, Esau Edom, man. <clears throat> All right, you look at his acts and his works that his hands brought forth, which was, you know, captivity of Israel. Mm. You know, he put the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom into slavery, man. By the way of the sword, by rape, robbery, uh, you know, murdering, and pillaging, pillaging. You know what I'm saying? To simply put it. But, you know, the Lord is not mocked, man, because he told us, you know, you know, if you live by that sword, you, you're going to surely die by it. You know, so revenge is coming. Mm -hmm. Go to Matthew 26 and uh, start with 51. And before you read that, let's uh, read Romans 12 and 19 again. Uh <clears throat> uh, it's the, this is the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 19, and it says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Right. The Lord is going to repay at the end of the day. So we're not supposed to go out, avenge ourselves, and make war with Esau. No. The Lord already written. That he's going to destroy him. He's going to... Hey, the Lord said in, Revel in the book of Revelation, he said, He says how he, he's going to come back to those that pierced him. Who pierced him? The Romans. The Romans. Who will be the uh, Edomites today, the so-called white people. Mm -hmm. Okay? So he's going to end up, you know, destroying destroying the wicked from this earth. You know, uh, scripture tell you, uh, dyed garments from Basra. Which would be, you know, the capital city. <laughs> oh man, it's just going so heavy, bro. Because Esau think he's gonna just gonna get get away scot free. free. Mm -hmm. You know, he think that's why the Lord he has his heart all uh all hardened up, full of pride. He can't be touched. No, he's gonna get touched. The Lord's gonna come back and show his power. You know, so we're not gonna avenge ourselves with 
what Esau is blessing, but what Yahweh Shai has given us, which is the spirit. So, um, Taziar, you think you could? Uh, God, I got it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 51. Mm. It's lucky for, uh, you know, earlier, but it says, uh, Matthew 26 and 51, it says, And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smart his ear. Then said Yahweh Shai to him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. All right, so the Lord was pushing that, man. You know, that, that was a law, man. He, he was pushing that from the beginning. You know, you know, if you take a life with the sword, you know, your life should be taken an eye for an eye. And that's a justice power, bro. You know, a false abomination, you know, a false balance is abomination to the Lord. To simply put it, bro. And that's just that's just how the Lord is coming, man. Right. And this is uh to back you up. Psalms 44 and 6. King David said, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. So even King David understood a hey, the weapons that he has, it's not gonna save him, it's not gonna protect him. Mm -hmm. But it's Yahweh by Shemal Shai that's gonna put a fortress around you, that's gonna lead you and guide you toward the path, you know, to defeat your enemies. That's okay. Simple, bro. Hey, the scriptures say he teaches my hands to fight. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so what the fuck? We don't need no damn weapon to to avenge Esau, bro. Farrakhan. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so all we gotta do is just trust in the Lord. He gonna he gonna write it off. Mm -hmm. If we trust in the Lord. Scripture say, "Thou worm Jacob." Whew, thou okay, worm Jacob, that's right, bro. We defenses. We we don't have no military. We don't got no you know strength. We don't got no power. We don't got no fight. We we can't go up against Esau. If all Jakes were to come together, we still fucking lose. Mm -hmm. So it was like, what's the point? No, the Lord wants you to trust in Him, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, He's the one that's orchestrating this whole thing that's that's upon this earth. That's right. That's so. Let's grab this next scripture up. It's the book of James, chapter 2 and verse 13. And it says, For he shall have judgment without mercy, that hath shoot no mercy, and mercy rejoice, rejoiceth against judgment. Right, so for he shall have judgment without mercy, that hath showed no mercy. Who had showed Israel no mercy as a nation? Esau and all these other heathens. Scripture tells you how... Um, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 50, right? No, I'm talking about how every nation had a spoil. Uh, I got a preacher real quick. Though, Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and 50. A nation of fierce continents which shall not regard the person of the old nor show favor to the young. All right? And that's during our, you know, earlier captivity, man. All right? You know, this dude didn't show favor to, you know, uh, the elderly or the young man, mm -hmm. he literally had four year olds, two, you know, as soon as they can comprehend out there in them fields picking cotton, bro. This nigga, our shard, Esau Edom, didn't show mercy to any of our people, man. Okay, as soon as uh, the elderly dropped dead, he replaced them with an infant, you know. Oh, yeah, um, and that's, that's our shard, a nation of fierce continents, man. Mm -hmm. Which should not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And that's, all right, in the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Right. And they were putting us, um, you know, your kids on auction blocks and all type of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But this is going back to what I was saying, how every nation, you know, they, they beginning with Esau has showed us, you know, no mercy. All right, so this is uh First Maccabees two and ten. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten her spoils? Okay, so what nation? All these other nations, you know, they had a chance of bring. They had a time and chance of bringing us down, bringing us down. But at first, it starts with Esau Edom. Okay, first it starts with Esau Edom. So when we read back James two and thirteen, for he shall have. For he shall have judgment without mercy, mm. right? So this is Esau has shown us no mercy, right? Yeah. That have showed us no mercy, right? Look, 
working our kids to death. Look at it today. You know, you you know, you got your you got your parents, they working until they're damn near 70. You got you got people working until they fucking 70 to pay their bills, bro. Mm-hmm. That's Esau, bro. Right. Okay? You don't show no mercy. You got all these legis- uh, legislations and laws, okay? Subject to payments. And it says, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment, okay? So in the kingdom, hey, we ain't going to be showing mercy to these crackers, man. They're going to get what they deserve because, hey, you touched the apple of the, the uh, Lord's eye. And just not uh, the self-proclaimed white man, you know? This is going for all you nations, man, because yep. all you guys have benefited or prospered off the, uh, you know, nation of Israel, the nation of, you know, Yashallah, man. Simple footed, like he said. Let's get this uh let's get the Lazarus and the rich man. It's the book of Luke <clears throat> chapter sixteen, starting in verse nineteen, and it says there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen. Right, so this is certain rich man which will um be representing uh you know these these top uh elites, okay, and, and purple Represents uh, royalty. Okay, go ahead. Continuing on. <clears throat> and feared sumptuous, sumptuously every day. Verse 20. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. And Lazarus will represent us as a nation of Israel. Okay. So we are that beggar. Okay. And full of sores. So go ahead. Keep reading. Verse 21, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Right. So, look, this is us. You know, we eating off the crumbs of a rich man's table. Okay. We barely getting, we barely getting shit just to get by, just to survive. While this rich man, he eating the best of the best. He living at the best of the best, living good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Continue. Moreover. The dogs came and licked his sores. Right. Now it says the dogs came and licked his sores. This is talking about these other nations. How I just read in the book of Maccabees. Okay. What nation had not gotten her first spoils? So this will be, you know, these other nations. They're the dogs that licked the sores of Israel. Mm -hmm. They got, they benefited off us. Okay. Continue. Verse 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Verse 23. Okay, now 20 uh, now roles are about to flip. And this is what's going to come when um our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back on the scene. Go ahead. And in hell he lifted he lift up his eyes, being in torments. And seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Right. So we going to be at the top. Okay. And and these these elites and uh, Esau, Edom and these other nations are going to be at the bottom. Okay. Just how it says in the curses, we are the tail and they're the head. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to be the head and they're going to be the tail. And it's going to be an everlasting kingdom and rulership starting with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now when it says, and in hell, he lift up his eyes. Now, you're not going to be in physical hell. Hell is a condition, you know, a state of condition. Yep. You know, it's a place upon earth. Mm-hmm. You know, heaven and hell. Okay. Those are conditions, man. You look at, uh, you know, the so-called white man. He's in his heaven right now because he's on top of everything. You know, the white, you know, the, uh, you know, the pale skin, the blue eyes, the blonde hair. That's a standard. You know, and that's the standard everywhere. Even going to Japan, I did a class on this, man. You know, in Japan, they have a standard of, you know, having pale skin, you know, blue eyes, black hair or blonde hair. That's the standard. That's that's looked upon to be superior, you know. Mm-hmm. And we in hell because look what we're going through. Okay. You got to work every day. These, these crackers don't got to work every day. You know, they wake up and it's another day. They making money. Mm-hmm. Doing, doing nothing. He's doing fucking fuck shit. 
But we gotta. But if all Jake were to stop working, their their society would crash instantly. Yeah, because we the only ones who's really working. We do. We the ones that slaving. Right. You know. Okay, go ahead. I'll read twenty three again. It's the book of Luke, chapter sixteen, and verse twenty three, and it says, "And in hell he lift up his eyes, right, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off." And Lazarus in his bosom. Verse 24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in his flame. And this is how Esau is going to talk to us. Hey, can you please show me mercy? Fuck no. <laughs> no. No. No, we're not gonna show you mercy. You want us to dip, dip that hell, that that water, and and cool it off a little bit? No, hell no. We just read in James, we are gonna show you no mercy. You ain't show us no mercy, Bob. But should we show you mercy? No, okay. it don't work that way. You are gonna be working your ass off, twenty four seven, three sixty five. Okay, sun up the sun down. I mean, that's a shard, though, man. He's a fucking hypocrite, though, bro. Yes. He's, a, he's literally a hypocrite. He wants us to show him mercy, but he didn't show us no, no, no mercy. mercy. Like, come on. That's the nature of Esau, you bro. Don't make no sense, bro. That's the nature of Esau, and that's how they work. That's how they operate. They don't like... Hey, you know how they said uh, with that one Jay they be saying the song, hey... Um, it's okay when they do it, but it's a problem when I do it. Fuck, Fuck them. Them. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right, nah, for bro. real. That's facts, though. Because, hey, when we when it's our turn, and we're going to have spiritual power, you need not have spiritual power. We're going to have spiritual power, bro. We're going to freaking torment you from, the, from inside your mind on out. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, we're going to really have fun with you devils, bro. Yeah, man. Okay, but continue. Verse 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth, receiveth thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. Right. They receive good things. They got benefits. They got they got the privilege. Okay? Mm -hmm. But we got evil things. We look bad upon. We got our heart beating when the cops pull us over and etc. Okay, we got evil things. We look, our our society looked at looks at us crazy as hell. Yeah, man. Okay, continue. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Right now you see roles are flipped. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is hey, a the Lord a hey, put a perfect parable for this, bro. Lazarus and the rich man. Exactly. You know, we I, I went to a class literally today on you know Esau. And you know, I brought a couple of precepts out, and uh, I put a uh, you know folly is set in great dignity, and the rich in low places. You know, and that's you know uh, that's true. You know, the rich is you know the Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Ashar, which is Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. These people are on the top of you know of everything, man. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that are ruling, but you know, going to the Book of Job. In the, uh, chapter 30 They are fucking base men These people were literally eating Juniper roots bro These people We had to show these people The way You know If you work with a co-worker You know that's a uh, Edomite So I'm pretty sure you know You all come And you all cooperate they don't, You don't got no friends That's no, no Edomites man You know I hope you don't But if you work with them You ask them How do you base Do you base with a rag do you base with a, you know, you base with your hand. They're going to tell you, man, they don't base with a rag, man. We literally had to show them the way, bro. These people are base men. You know, they're they're nothing to uh, Yasha Allah, man. And they still fucking stink. And they still stink, <laughs> they bro. Just, like, <laughs> they DNA, man. They never Nat stink. Natural brute beast. Yeah. Right. Created for destruction. That know? That's so fucking, that's, that's um very humbling mm -hmm. to have. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, our father, mm -hmm. put us at a low point and set up these cavemen, Flintstones. Fine. Uh, put up these, the most I put these people that came and wiped their ass right over us, man. Literally, bro. <laughs> that's, bro, that's humbling, bro. Like, literally. 
And now look at them. They 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 credit everything we do. Mm-hmm. They take credit for everything we do. They lie. They're very um, deceptive. The man goes on and on. And they hypocrites. They want us to forget about all the things they didn't did. Uh, oh, they they, the they want us to forget. They want us to forget and forgive uh, slavery. But when it's when it's world's turn, they're like, oh nah. And you, you, you see, see that at camp. You see that at camp all the time. You you show them the sign. Oh, we supposed to forgive you for this. We supposed to forgive you for this. You supposed you make ends meet, make things equal. Yeah, looking as a white man. Right? I think we all should be equal. That's no, what they go. That's the, that's what they say to try to justify. No. and you see it on their media as well. Yeah, they'll show you the the uh, all right. If the the, uh, the culprit is the Jake, but if it's Ishar, the self proclaimed white man, they're not gonna show you who it is, bro. That shit, man, that shit is crazy, ain't it, man? Right. You know, and that's just because this is our hell and this is their heaven. Right. Going back to the, the book of Baruch 3 and 8, where you're at, in our captivity and et cetera. But, you know, you got you got what's coming to you. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. <laughs> self proclaimed white man, you got what's coming to you, man. Let's get on um, the book of Obadiah. It's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1. In verse 18, and it says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. Okay, and the house of Jacob, which which will represent the southern kingdom, so-called um, Negroes, uh, Haitians, uh, Haitians, Jamaicans, and West Indians. Yeah, and West Indians. That will be the southern kingdom, and Joseph will be the northern kingdom, you know, so-called Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans, mm-hmm. you know, your, uh, Uruguay, you know, so on and so forth. Mexicans. Go ahead. Continuing on in the house of Esau for stubble. Go ahead. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Mm. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord. Yahweh hath spoken it. So basically, we're going to be get, bringing so much hell to Esau. We're going to be whooping your ass. To a fucking, to a damn extermination. How you. To how stubble. You, how you almost did Gad, bro. And genocide. A genocide. Damn near a genocide, to bro. Damn near genocide. You feel me? You know, you guys destroyed, raped, robbed, pillaged Gad and Reuben with the sword to the point you almost ex- made them to uh, extinct. You know, not only that, uh, diseases brought diseases. Oh, yeah, man. How the fuck do you? How do you bring diseases? How do you make a natural born, uh, you know, a genocide? A, a, that's is this crazy? But how do you do that before it's, <laughs> it's it's time? You know what I'm saying? You guys uh, technolize, you know, natural born viruses and diseases. Bio bio warfare. That's what they call it. Bio warfare, yeah. How do you guys make bio warfare a thousand years before it's time? That's our shard, bro. That's Esau Edom. All right, that's that's the wicked. Going back to uh Second Thessalonians, you know, chapter three, bro. The son of perdition. If I'm saying it right, the son of perdition, bro. That's that's them. That's Esau Edom, bro. No other nation was possible to do those things, but Esau ate them, bro. Right. Just simply put it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Go ahead, read that again. Uh, it's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. Mm-hmm. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, Right. and the house of Esau for stubble. Right. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh hath spoken it. So we're gonna be being them to a pope, bro. They're gonna be, they gonna be. You know how you have the little um carriages, you have the horses. Esau gonna be no motherfucking horses. <laughs> nah, I don't want no horse. I want Esau yeah. to be dragging that motherfucking carriage. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go to my house. I want Esau to carry my ass to the house. And we seen that uh, last week, bro. 
Last oh, week camp, at, camp. at camp. Oh, yeah. Come that was spiritual, bro. bro. That was the Lord showing us, hey, bro, we about to get that. Mm-hmm. You know, Jake fucking bugged out hanging with the fucking serpent. But, hey, but the Lord, you know, put it in their minds. Hey, don't, hey, don't worry. Y'all going to be like this. Literally, Karen, Jake, he's the only Jake there. He's full of Esau. And Jake is getting carried by Esau like he's going to the fucking kingdom. Like Aladdin and shit. Yeah, bro. Like, bro. Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's spiritual though, bro. Cause we're gonna hey, we're gonna be future kings and priests that are gonna judge, you know, this world. Yeah, man. So with that, hey man, we're gonna be treated like kings and priests. We're gonna be on the high stature. We're gonna be on the high level. Lord willing we be those men. Okay? Mm-hmm. Let's get um Isaiah. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21, and it says, Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Prepare slaughter for the for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. So, hey, you're going to be like, oh, I wasn't there to do that. I wasn't there. No, you was there because everything is reincarnated, okay? When you go into reincarnated, re means back. Carn, carn, uh, carnated. Yeah, means in the flesh. You're carnal. You know. So you back in the flesh. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody comes back every three to four generations, as the scriptures tell you. Yep. And you know when you go in this word, children means sons. And it's crazy because I was literally thinking about it. I was meditating on that that same piece that you were talking about today, because um, I was just thinking about it, and I was thinking like either you come back as, you know, uh. You know, a relative to like, you know, a brother, cousin, etc. Or you'll come back as your grandson's spouse, bro. And that's really th- that's really what it is when you do the math about it, because you have the father. Yeah. You have the all right, you have the father and the mother. You have the uh the child. And then you have the child that had a, a spouse, you know, like a uh, not spouse, that had a child. The grand, that would be the grandkid, you know? And that's really what it is, bro. And that's that's really what it is, bro. Because you can go back to these damn Edomites and they have photos of their, you know, their grandparents. Right. Going back to these lynchings and et cetera. And even that NFL player. What's his, what's his name, bro? Which one? No, uh, the NFL owner. Oh, uh, um, not, the, not the player. He was an uh, he, owner. He, he owner of the Cowboys. Jerry Jones. Yeah, yeah. bro. You know, this nigga was around the time where he was, uh, you know, that whole segregation thing was going on, man. Mm-hmm. It got him right in the the, po- the photo right there, man. That's facts, bro. Yep. And when you um when you go into it, you are your fathers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or oh, even um forefathers. Yep. You are your forefathers. So if Esau mm-hmm. was doing that back then, you know he's coming back in this flesh. Like I told you early in this lesson, the Lord's coming back for those that pierced him. The Romans are here today. All the Romans are here today. And the best thing for uh when when you're in court is audio and pictures. Okay? So continue reading up. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right, and you continue verse 22. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, which is the Lord of armies. And cut off from Babylon the name, remnant, mm-hmm. son, mm-hmm. nephew, right. saith Yahweh. Because the Lord is cutting off the men. Why is he cutting off the men and not the women? Because the men hold the seed. If for In order for you to continue your lineage, you have to cut off the men. Women cannot procreate or cannot recreate. They need a man to plant the seed inside of them in order for them to... Uh, recreate, right? To you know, born of a, of a, uh, of a child. Okay. So let's get let's grab this last precept and we we'll close it out. Deuteronomy. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter thirty and verse seven, and it says, "And the Lord Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies, mm-hmm. and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee." Right, and it says in Yahweh that power will put all these curses, which is what we're going through today. Deuteronomy twenty-eight from verse fifteen on 
on to 68. 68. Okay, those are the curses we live through live through today, right? It's going to put on upon our enemies. We want to know who our enemies are? Read Psalms 83. And the first one that's on there is Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it says, and on them that hate thee. Who else hate us? There's other nations. Mm -hmm. You know, the so-called Africans, Hamites, Elamites, Ammonites, Moabites. Okay? All these other nations that hate us. But who who at the top of that you know that totem pole though? Who who really showing that they who, really really hate us? Who's our evil that? twin brother? Mm -hmm. Because Esau is our fraternal twin brother, all right. And when um our father Isaac was going to pass away, he said my my um my father is about you yeah, know the day of my uh the, my my father's morning is at hand right. My day of my father's at the hand, and I will slay my brother and Jacob. Jacob. Yep. So who is the one that's going to run the show? Esau eat him, and that's how the Lord set it up because that is that is the Lord's sword and is his left hand. Okay, and it says, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay, so like I said, all these other nations starting with Esau Edom, Esau Edom, you know, they had our they had a, a piece of our spoil um putting us down, you know, and say, Oh, is this is this the beauty of you know Jerusalem? You know? Look at it, man. Esau Edom is not going to get no fucking mercy. And we stand on that. We know that through, you know, our, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim and Ashad through faith and the comfort of the scriptures, man. That's right. Anybody, anybody want to add? No, man. Okay, man. All right, man. With that, what wills that's been edifying? I'm going to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim 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 Yahweh Bashim